we were strangers starting out on a journey never dreaming what we'd have to go through now here we are and we're suddenly standing at the beginning with you well um, we met uh, in 1982 in a musical theater workshop called the BMI Musical Theater Workshop. Um, it's kind of a lonely hearts club for aspiring lyricists and composers and, and we saw each other across a crowded room. We did. <laughs> um, uh, Stephen was writing his own lyrics at the time and up until that point I had been writing my own music and so we knew a lot about what the other did but um, at the end of that first year when we were just learning our craft and, and writing assignments, um, Stephen approached me on the street. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was like kind of crazy because I had pretty much written uh, words and music the, the whole first year. And we had one last assignment, I think it was like in May. And uh, I was walking down the street and all of a sudden I could feel like the hairs in my back of my neck go up. And I said, turn around. I happened to be standing around. there. So she was like down the block. So I turned around and I said, Lynn, do you want to work on a song together? And she goes, okay. Oh. <laughs> and that's sort of how we that's how had our first songwriting date, yeah. as, as it were. And yeah. uh, he asked me out. <laughs> it was, I asked her out. It was great. It, it was it was it was uh, really wonderful. And we wrote the first song, and that first song led to the first show. Uh, I met Lynn really the first month I was here in New York City from uh, my hometown of Pittsburgh, PA. And uh, within the first six months, we were writing together, and here we are 30 years later, and we're still writing together. Yeah. I'm Lynn Aarons. And I'm Stephen Flaherty. <laughs> and at this point, we have no idea which is which. It's, it's been too long. It's, it's an interesting thing, because um, I discovered early on that Stephen was a far better composer than I am. And um, I think I'm a, a slightly better lyricist better. than he is. And um, so, you know, the, the synergy of those two disciplines uh, really, really makes it um, uh, exciting to work together because I can have musical input and he can have lyrical input. Um, and, and so our process is very fluid and, and um, very fun. Very, very, yeah. and we respect it's, the it, other's work a lot because, of, because we know how good it is, you know, and, and we know enough about the other person's discipline. Um, one of the things I was, I was going to say is that um, we started writing in 1983, that first year. We were really working, uh, he was working yeah. alone and I was working with other people. When we got together, um, you know, and we began writing in earnest, um, we, we have been going ever since and it's our 30th anniversary uh, which is great. this year, which is unbelievable. I know, where that, and where, how that happened. How that, that happened, like... time flies when you're having a good time. <laughs> I know, totally. Um, and I think that that's very rare in this day and age. I think people think of musical theater and they think Rodgers and Hammerstein and Kander and, Kander and Ed and Lerner and Lowe and this one and that one, Condon and Green. But nobody nowadays in our generation of writers, um, they, they switch around a lot. There are a lot of different collaborations, but I think we're the only writing team uh, 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 that has lasted that long. We um, met in 1982. We wrote our first song in 1983 when I was 10 and Stephen was 7. And um, we haven't stopped writing ever since. Now what are you doing to celebrate your 30th anniversary? Oh. Well, this is so exciting uh, because we figured 30 is such a big round number and we thought we can't uh, let this year go by without celebrating in some way. So uh, we decided to do a big gala series of concerts here in New York City at 54 Below. It, it, it's just, uh, it's a wonderful way to celebrate and as, yeah. as we were putting this together I realized how lucky we are, which is the title of a song that we may sing. Possibly. Beca possibly, because <laughs> we... We have had every experience under the sun working in the theater. We have had Broadway hit and a Broadway flop. We've had out-of-town tryouts. We have traveled around the world together to every country conceivable. We, um, including have, Tasmania. Including Tasmania. Yeah. We've, we've <laughs> walked the red carpet. We've won awards. We've lost awards. You know, it is a very rich, rich and rewarding life that has happened to us and around us. And so to bring all these singers together to celebrate this is, is really, it's not only great fun, it's really moving to, to realize what, what we've accomplished and what has happened to us. Amazing but true, how lucky you are, how lucky, how lucky, how lucky you are, how lucky, how lucky, how lucky we are, how lucky, how lucky, how lucky, three decades of lucky, how lucky we are.